How are you guys? This is IBU Learning, the place to develop your academy skills. In today's video, I am going to show you how we can uh, start with Revit. So this is the Revit, we can choose uh, Architectural tab. And I will go to architect, Architecture tab and then I will select Grid. I will start drawing the grid. I will take three grids vertically, y axis, and then I will take few more grids on x axis. Now I will change this one to A. Now I can I'll copy this one. Make sure this is multiple. Check. Click here and drop here. And again here. I need one more. No worry about the dimension because I can set later the grid dimension. Now I will adjust the dimension. Here I need a 5 meter. So I put the 5 meter and I select this one. I put this one also with 5 meter. And select this one. So here I need one more grid. So once here I will do copy or just control, shift and drag. So it will also come. So here it's showing E. Because this continue, it's taking from here A, B, C, then A, B, C, D. So here I will change this one for as per my requirement. Here I will keep to meet. Okay. So my x axis is now I will adjust this. Now this one. This is I will set by meter. This one also I need, I need 4 meter. Then here I need 2 meter. So if you don't have any AutoCAD drawings or any reference or if you have uh, exact value of the grid, so you can put or you can adjust later also. So now this is the grid. You can adjust it on the center. Move. So now I will move to the south elevation. Then I will set some levels. I will put architectural tab in this level. ground floor this is first floor and then second floor this one is Floor height is first three meter. Next one I need same six meter. And then this is seven to seven more. So now I have grid and levels. Now we can start. Working. To 50 scale. Now I will go to wall. I will choose here exterior brick. Then I will start drawing over. I will take from here to that end up to this end. 
to here, 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 here. Okay, I need this one here. So, okay, I'll continue here. Then, here I need R. So, I will pick this. Continue here. Then I will select this one. So this is why you go here and I will tick another wall, wall, select, then I need a 250 thick generic, I will click here and I will draw to here. So this is interior wall, I will draw from here to here. So this is the wall. Now I can I will go to wall and I will pick here now generic two fifty. This is basis ground. Now I set the top constant, first floor. And then I will start drawing from here to here. And then here to here. Heat escape to out from the command. Now this is plan. Here now I will go to put the door. The door size is by default it's given some sizes. This is okay. Now I will go to choose this one and I put the door here. Another door. I will hit a space to change the space to change the orientation of the wall. Now I will go on this face. I'll put another door here. Then I will go to take the window. I need window here, center of this. So I put window. Ah, this is very small. Okay, I didn't change that one. So now I will change. I need the uh, window, 1.2 meter by 1.5 meter. A big one point. I select this one so I can modify later on also. So this is my window. It's modified. This window is opening inside. If I need outside, just I will select this window and hit space. So it will change. Now I need another side. So I can take again from window or I can right click and create similar. Or I can do another option for the mirror. I will select this one. I will go to modify and I will pick the pick axis. If this is the both was the same, so I can pick the center of that, and this will give another side mirror the window. So now I have window door. Now I will go to add some cotton wall here. So I will go again architectural tab wall. Here in the wall, I will go below and I will choose exterior glazing or uh, okay i will choose exterior uh, storefront now i will go i will go to ground floor i need 300 up from ground or 500 from ground then it will go up to second floor okay, continue one time i'm going up to that level and here Top offset is okay 250 minus 250 because 250 it's in z direction so minus 250 it will be below apply and then I can go and I select this and pick plan and select this. 
now again I need to draw I'll right click create same similar now I will go to start drawing same I will check the property value 500 from base top I need from second floor level below 250 okay this is good now I will go to take from this line then I will go to take center then here to here then from here to I will keep some cap in between two lines so I will give some solid wall here I will keep up to here okay now I will go to 3d and check how it's looking now this is 3d looks like we extend the uh, curtain wall up to second floor but wall is up to first floor so how you can change this one how you can update this one you can hover over on one or any line it will give show you this line is blue or highlighted then press tab it will select all connected line make sure it's connecting then you need to be select this one also if you want to extend this one select this one and then go to up to second floor and change this it will go automatic up to second floor. this is why i didn't change before because i want to show how you can modify if anything is not changed then you can modify it later i will go to first floor plan now here i will go to floor structural then i will choose generic floor 400 i will go to edit here i will duplicate this i want to show 250 concrete slab now here this is 400 now i will go and change this one to 50 okay this is okay now this is okay so now I already made 250 concrete slab and then I will go to either do it, I can draw a line or rectangle or I choose pick line. So I choose pick line and then I will pick exterior. Here I choose this line, this line, this is the external line. So I will pick this line outer line then now I have to trim I will use trim extend command or select this one pick this pick this line trim make sure this is continuous line trim this trim trim now okay if you go in the view then you can check whatever window is open this is ground floor I already open first floor then this is 3d this is the slab I just prepared that one and then this is the south elevation so if I need to work on the first floor it's done I need to just copy this one I already selected then I will go to copy modify tab and then copy click copy once it's copy then go again to modify align to selected level now you have to copy first from first floor to second floor so now I will choose second floor where I have to copy and then ok so I can see here now also I have another slab concrete slab here so this is parapet level I will go to structure tab wall 150 this base is starting from second floor to parapet finish face exterior I will choose and then I will choose pick line 
Let me start drawing. Pick inside, pick plane, and pick plane, pick plane. Okay. Message saying none of the created element are visible in floor plan yeah, because we are already on higher plan. Our parapet is going below. So this is need to be changed the view range, but I will do later. Now I will pick here, pick here. So almost I already pick all. If I need to see, I can check here the 3D. I will go first to save this one, save this project. Check save button. Go to desktop. And here you can put the name first Revit Tutorial, tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.